Especially with phonetics and phonology, I love to try and pull examples from popular culture, from everyday life. You know, students watch movies, listen to music. So today I showed a, a little part of Napoleon Dynamite. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Napoleon says Pedro. Pedro says Pedro. And there's a different pronunciation there. So it's always fun for them to say, oh yeah, there is, there are differences in everyday life. It's not just something they see in the classroom. Port. Port. Pill. 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 Pool. Pool. ¿Qué pasa con la hoja? Se mueve. Se mueve, ¿verdad? Ahora clase con sport, spill, spool, spill. Sport. Spool. Spill. No se mueve. Today I had them hold up a piece of paper in front of their face and, and pronounce the P two different ways in, in English so they could see, oh yeah, there's two different P's here, there's two different pronunciations of the P, even though in our mind there's just one letter. In English, deben poner mucho aire. O sea, debe salir mucho aire con la P. Pídele a Paco un poco de pan. We're talking about sounds that you make when you're speaking words in English or Spanish and like the vibrations it goes in your throat and how your nose and your mouth are all connected in speaking. Well, I grew up in Los Angeles, near Los Angeles and after high school I spent some time in Venezuela and I um, saw huge differences between Mexican Spanish and Venezuelan Spanish and I got back and took this, the class, the phonetics and phonology course and was just amazed of, of what, what I needed to do as a second language speaker of Spanish to approximate, come as close as I could to a native pronunciation of Spanish. Todos, clase, digan por favor, butter, 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 butter. butter. caro. Es el mismo sonido ahí. Overall, he, he's a great teacher, but what I most like about him is that he, he makes time in class that he reviews the material, and in addition to reviewing the material, I think he's outside of office hours, anytime I need help, he's always there to help you. I teach because I enjoy what I've learned as a student myself. Being a college professor is great because I get to learn and learn and keep learning. I chose this career because I found it fascinating.